G'day guys, welcome back to another video. You already read the title. We're going to be putting 100 drops of lube in this Rubik's Cube, in this one right here. If you don't know, lube in Rubik's Cubes is normally just used to make it faster, turn better, and just overall change the feel of the cube. You can get lots of different types that change the feeling on the speed solver's personal preference. This is a GAN 11M Pro. I just got it recently. And I'm going to see if this is going to go better or worse. This is completely stock right now. Normal magnets, normal tensions, and no lubricant. Without further ado, let's try it out. All right, here we are. Brand new GAN Cube. Turns pretty well. Well, turns pretty standard, which you'd expect for a, you know, a GAN cube. I've got two bottles of lubricant. These are just some random Mofeng Jiashi lube that I got recently in a package. I don't exactly know if these are any good or not, but we're going to be putting a hundred drops. Yeah, this actually might take a while, so let's get going. So if you didn't know, the best way to lube up a cube is just by pulling it apart like this, dropping it in there, and then closing it back up. But because we're putting so much in, I'm going to take a piece out. We'll pull this one out just here. If you didn't know, the honeycomb design is actually made to spread the lube out a bit more. And as you can see, there's already a little bit on, even though it's stock. All right, we got our first bottle. Let's go. One. Okay, this might take a while. I've got a better idea. I'm gonna use one of these things. This is a cube stand, a daily puzzles one. This should make it a little bit easier. So if I prop this up just here, boom, that'll make it much easier to drip in. All right, here we go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Okay, we got 10 so far. I don't know if I should work it in yet. I might just do the whole lot and then we'll see. All right, that's 20. Getting, getting quite full in there. All right, that's 50. Still got a little bit left in the bottle. Move this around, work it in. I'm hoping this doesn't start to drip because that would be embarrassing. Let's keep going. So that's 80. Put a couple in this side. All right, 90. We'll do 10 more. Let's go. And we'll do one last one. Do it right here. And that's 100. All right, I'm kind of scared that this is going to drip everywhere as soon as I start turning it. But I got them all in there. You can't really tell. Let's put that piece back in now. Oh, I don't want to bend it too much. Okay, there we go. All right, we'll put this to the side. Okay, this is it. Let's do the first turns. Okay. Nothing too weird. Oh, wow. All right, it's a lot heavier on this side. I think we need to move it around a bit. So we'll do a checkerboard. <laughs> okay, instantly it's like coming out of the pieces all onto my hands. Oof, feels very heavy. Okay, I think I'm gonna need a towel. This will do for now. I just wanna wash my hands uh, and the lube is falling out from the pieces. Okay, let's try turning as fast as I can. Oh, okay, that is ridiculously gummy. This is like that time I put whipped cream in a Rubik's Cube. Oh, it smells weird. It actually smells very uh, strange. You can see it's super shiny because it's just covered. All right, I think it's time for a solve. So my hands on the cube are all very covered in lube. So <laughs> let's just see how this goes. Oh, just feels so weird. Yeah, it's just, it's not even the turnings that bad. It's just completely covered in lube. Damn. All right, let's try this again. Oof. Oh, nice. <laughs> it's just so hard to grip. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm done with that. Um... Yeah, I wouldn't recommend doing this. <laughs> Obviously, I mean, doesn't turn great and it just completely falls out of the cube. The recommended amount, if you didn't know, is like two to three drops, sometimes four if it's a big cube, but a three by three should not have this much. It's very gummy, very slow, and your hands just get covered in loot. I did this so you don't have to, basically. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.